When we, we lose together, we are as we fall together. I am a Jesse Fano. I am a Jesse Fano. We win, we lose together. We are as we fall together. I am a Jesse Fano. I am a Jesse Fano. Together we overcome Together we can be stopped We will reach those goals we set together I am a Jesse Fano I am a Jesse Fano We will we lose together we rise, we fall together. Oh. I am a Jesse Fano. Jesse Fano. I am a Jesse Fano. Oh, 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 Jesse, okay. We win, we lose together. Together we win. We rise, we fall together. Cause we will not know. I am a Jesse Fano. 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 We lose together. Together we can be strong. We rise, we fall together. Oh, cool. I left the ad off. Right. Big up, everybody. We are back. We are back. Hope everybody is enjoying the return of Chelsea Football Club. Although I do also want to know how long it will take for us to wish the international break is back. I I'm saying 20 minutes into the Chelsea Burnley game. Although I am hoping we win this one and we win it comfortably because like, if we make this game any more difficult than it needs to be, we're we're gonna do it anyway. Just win. Just just win. Like genuinely just win this game and move on to the next one. Try and play with a little bit of conviction, please. Like that, that that would really be nice. But we're gonna delve into everything regarding the Chelsea Burnley game. Um, we're gonna talk about say all the latest news, but there's only a little bit from Pies' personal account we can talk about. But other than that, it is just a match preview. It should be short and sweet, but I'm, I mean, I've said that how many times and that doesn't really seem to be the nature of these streams. So we'll just see whatever the hell happens. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, as always, for the live watch along. I I'm not going to a Chelsea Burnley game. Might do Manchester United. Probably won't do Manchester United. 
And if I don't do that, I guess I'll see everybody at Wembley. Because I am definitely going to do that. 420 in Wembley. We're going to be smoking that city pack. Or oh, we're going to be the ones getting build up one or the other. But guys, there's over 100 you man in here already. Hit that like button. Subscribe. All of that BS. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Um, big up to Maldini. Big up to Gavman. Big up to Warrior. Um, what else? What else? Big up to Fraser saying, good luck, Lewis. My friend, my friend, we, we don't need luck. We don't need luck. Like, if we need luck to win this game, do you know how scrubbed we are? This Burnley team hasn't got Coley Osho. I think it's one of the only few Burnley forwards who have actually impressed me. Actually, you know, Lyle Foster as well. He's been okay. Well, I haven't heard that guy's name in months. That trophy far not obviously won't be uh, playing because we're the parent club and this isn't a European competition. So he's going to be out of this game. We're free scoring. We we've been scoring a lot over the last few games. It It can't be a difficult match. Can it? Especially with the fact that Burnley don't really sit back like that. They usually try and give you a game for the most part. Or at least they try and get the first goal and then do it. And we, we shouldn't be conceding the first goal. I remember we did concede first when we went up to Turf Moor. A string of errors. I think it was... It was the whole back four, I think. Cucurella, Silva, De Sassi. I think Cole on the left. I think all of them had a little mess up for that first goal. And then we struggled to break them down for a good 40, 45 minutes until we bagged an own goal. Then a Sterling masterclass, Nicholas Jackson off the bench cooking, and we bag another three. So in spite of everything, like this should be one of the more optimistic games for us. And if we don't beat Burnley, please get rid of Poch t t that night. Get rid of him that night. Don't don't long it out. You're you're at the part of the season where you sacked Graham Potter. So I'm not even gonna take it. Well, I say that. If we sack Poch at any point now between the end of the season, I actually feel like I'm gonna be a bit annoyed about it. Just because any reason you give me to sack Poch, I would have told you that same reason about four or five months ago. But it shouldn't get to that point. We are playing the team in 19th in the league. They have one victory over us in the top division in their entire history. One victory. Should it be any harder than this? Pause. No. No, we should be winning this game. We should be all over them. This should be one of the games where we try to up the goal difference, if anything. I don't want to see no Brazy come back from Burnley. I don't want to see Burnley start off well. And I know we're speaking in a bit of a confident manner, but I mean, if it's not for this game, then when is it going to be? What, when we go to Sheffield United in, in two weeks? Even that game, that game is it might not even be worth doing a preview for that one. I'm just going to sit there and say, we have Sheffield United at home. I mean, Sheffield United away. The end. Go win. If you don't win by at least three goals, you're all washed. You should all walk home from Sheffield. Should all of you should walk home from Sheffield if we don't get three goals in this game? Hell, the next four games should all be wins. All four of them should be victories. We have Burnley, we have Manchester United, Sheffield United, we have Everton after that. Everton might be a little bit tricky, but that's all it should be. It should be tricky. We should still be able to solve that problem. Manchester United, you owe the fans a victory. That streak dies on Thursday. And if it doesn't die on Thursday, again, scrubbed. We shouldn't be accepting anything less than 12 points out of our next four. We have burned so much um, potential this season. I can't be accepting any more slip-ups now. It's too late. It's way too late for that. Now is the time for you to start getting a run. You've already started with Newcastle and Leicester City, now you build on it. I want us to go into that Manchester City game, ideally, with six victories. Off the back of six victories. Now, I feel like it's easier said than done, even with us, because I know we're going to drop points somewhere stupid. 
And it will be typical us to probably drop points tomorrow and then go and beat Man United. Get our first victory against Man United in the Premier League since 2018. No, 2017. 2017, not even 2018. Oh, that streak's got to die. Every single season, I think we're playing the worst Man United side I've ever watched. Then they get even worse. And we still can't beat them. That has to end. Just for the sake of this fan base. Give, give Even for the manager. Give Poch something to build off. you got a good run of victories. Or a run of games. That should be a good run of victories. Make the most of what you have right now. I don't want to hear excuses about injuries. I don't want to hear excuses about a fixture pile up. Or players coming back from international duty injured or any of that crap. I don't want to see any of that. Go and win. Go on. Go and win. I said, dude, you finished 12th last season and you're 11th this season. What on earth makes you think you should be anybody? Because if we couldn't be anybody, we'd be 20th. Bozo. Like, what, what, what are we talking about? And also, we finished 12th with a completely different team to the one that we have this season. And also, we're playing Burnley and Sheffield United. Our two of our next three games. Miss me with this awful mentality. Miss me with that. Not looking at that crap. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll shout side, we'll shout flawless. I'm sure we'll be able to get them on the channel. I might see what Rance is saying as well. We'll do a string of different previews. Hell, I want to see if I can get that FIFA preview pattern with Said that we tried to do in the last um for the last game. Don't know what happened, but we just couldn't get a game sorted, so it just turned into a normal preview. So I might do either two previews and get two people on one, one and a, and a 1v1 stream, or I will make it up. All three of them should be on the channel. All three of them. Sacking him now is too late again. Facts. Big up, Dan. Good to see you in here, bro. Big up. CP, it, it goes without saying, no Fafana, no Kolioshi, no excuses. No excuses. Because losing key players for Burnley is going to hurt Burnley a lot more than losing key players for us would for us going into this fixture. We are facing a team 19th in the league. 19th. So I, I want, if we don't win this game, I want everybody to think about that before we start peddling out excuses why we didn't win this game. Remember, they are 19th in the table. They have conceded 63 goals in the league this season. They have only 29 goals. I think the only team. With worse goal difference is, yes, Sheffield United. Typical. Typical. And then there's even less excuses when that game comes around. So don't take the piss. Get a victory. Get a convincing victory. And build off it. Now, I know we do have injuries. Um, we pulled up with another three injuries during the international break. Chukumeka pulled up with one in international duty. Lavia, who was injured is just out for the rest of the season. I don't know what happened with Chalaber and Sanchez, though. All I know is chalaber has gone from just out to impartial team training, but he's still injured. Don't know what the hell caused that. Sanchez is... Well, we got an injury-prone goalkeeper. <sighs> Whatever, man. I wanted Petrovic starting anyway. I'm going to get Petrovic starting, so... I'm not going to complain too much about it is what it is. Um, other than that, we have the same old Cole Will, Fafana, Reese James, and Cuckoo and Ugo Chukwu out. Also, Ben Chilwell has a knock. Um, Pochettino said in his press conference that we need to assess a few players like Chilwell. A few players. There might be a couple more that we don't even know about, which oh, I hope not. But in terms of Chilwell being out, oh no, anyway. It'd be nice to have some depth, but we sent our only other fit left back to Dortmund and we're probably never going to see him again. But on Chilwell, I'm tired of him. I'm just tired of him. Leave, first buyer, send him over there, keep Cucurella, give his wages to Cucurella. If he even needs an extension, I don't think he needs an extension. 
But whatever. I don't have to watch Ben Chilwell stink it up. Great. The fact that he's injured again, like I'd be annoyed about it if I actually rated him. But I don't rate Chilwell. The fact he's injury prone and crap just means... He's just there, either existing or stinking up the play for us. It's one or the other. It is one or the other. Um, am I doing a watch long for Madrid City? I'm not sure, because that's my birthday. I might go out for a few drinks. I might go out for a few drinks. I'm thinking for my birthday, I might just run a little Q&A and bounce. But I might do a watch along. I might do a watch along. Just because I'm thinking, you know what? What would be a better way to celebrate my birthday than watching both English teams get absolutely pammed in Europe? Although, quietly, I think we still need Man City to progress a bit further just for the coefficient. So, I, I might need City to do a job against Madrid. Arsenal, though, bun that. Jersey's FC is already sending me a Bayern shirt just in time for that for both watch alongs. Well, the, one of the watch alongs. So, yeah, Bayern, you must. Bayern, you must. Been looking at the highlight. Yes, yeah, Sterling was unbelievable in that game. Like, that was one of his best ever Chelsea performances. It's just a shame he can't replicate those performances unless he's playing Man City or the bottom five. So, is what it is with him. Is what it is. I don't want to see him start this game either, by the way. I want to see Maduweki, Mudrik, and, and Palmer behind Jackson. Bench Sterling just off that Leicester game alone. I don't think we need Gallagher against this sort of opposition, but we might need him just based off Enzo because I, I know Enzo played, I think, on the Wednesday or something. When did Argentina play? Because I did see people talking about this before the international break. So... He played on the Wednesday, I think. Yeah, Argentina played Costa Rica. When did... Okay, so Enzo was subbed. When did he come off? When did Enzo come off? 80, 80 second minute. Okay, so he had 80 minutes to play in that game. He might need to be rested. He might. I can't, I'm not going to say he will, but he might. And if that's the case, you might see Gallagher back in the pivot for that game. If that's not the case, bench him. Bench him. And past that, go and win. Gusto starts. Cucurella starts. Um, it'll be De Sassi and... Maybe Badia Ashil, because Badia Ashil's not on that injury list. Badia Ashil is not on that injury list from what I've seen. Unless I'm completely bugging. Was he on the bench for the Leicester game? Yeah, he was. He was. So you might see the Sassy and Badia Shield play. Because you know Silver's still in the doghouse because of his wife's comments. So yeah, the Sassy, Badia Shield, Gusto, Cucurella. I would ideally start Enzo and Caicedo if he's fit. Um, Palmer on the right. No, no. Oh, crap. What do you do? Maybe play Mudrick back on the left side again. Although he's been doing all right in the middle. I don't really want to move him. But if you put him there, then you might have to play Sterling so you can play Palmer on the right. Because Palmer's going to play on the right. And I don't think we're going to play Madueke on the left. So the only way you see Mudrick, Madueke and Palmer playing would likely be if Mudrick's on the left. And Palmer in the middle, Madueke on the right. I don't know if we try that out. Uh, maybe, maybe, you, maybe you do see Sterling start this game. Maybe you do. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But regardless, Mandem, hit the like button. Hit the like button. How many likes are we on? 55. You might look moving like Conor Gallagher in the League Cup final. Hit that like button. Literally, just press that thumbs up. That's all I need. Press that thumbs up and, and you're good. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Super chat if you want. I'm shameless with that super chat if you want. But other than that, just hit the like button and we're all good. Big up to CNAC saying losing this game may be more unforgivable than losing to Newcastle with 11 injuries. Did they have 11 injuries when we lost to them? Did they really? Oh my 
gosh. I forgot about that. The first leg of the Borough game with 16 injuries, if you include the two players that came off in the first half. And not attacking, attacking Liverpool for second half against kids. Lord help us. Yes, Father God, please be with our football club. And please deliver us three points in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the good thing is, I, I, I can't envision a way that we lose this game. Although, trust in Pochettino to find a way. <laughs> trust in him to find a way. Because I will not forget how I was trying to do dry January. And then I went to Chelsea v Preston. And after 45 minutes of that Chelsea v Preston game, I had to leave to go to a concourse early because I was like, I need a drink for this crap. I can't believe we can't break down a, a, a mid-table mid -table Preston side. And then we did it again against Borough, by the way. We did it again. Typical. So I won't act like it's not out of the realm of possibility. But I'm just thinking, really? Really? Now? Like, we're starting to fire goals. We're in a decent run. Are we really going to go five steps backwards again? Like, if this isn't 12 points out of our next four, I don't know if Europe's happening. Unless the coefficient saves us, or unless we manage to win the FA Cup. And I mean, if we can't get 12 points out of these next four games, are you going to tell me we're beating Manchester City? Because I have to see that first. I'll have to see that first to believe it. But big up for your donation, my guy. Big up, bro. Um, am I going tomorrow? Nope. No, 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 no. This is the season of saving money. It's the season of saving money, so I ain't going to this one. I'm thinking Manchester United, maybe. If not, that's the cup semi-final. The cup semi-final, I'm 100% going to. That's just done. Done. Finished. I'm going. Uh, what else does everybody say? Are we getting a point deduction? Nope. Well, not right now. All this is dependent on is if we can get players sold by um the 30th of June. This is a this is a, a question that should be asked on the 30th of June. Until then, ignore all of the speculation and all of the scaremongering about oh Chelsea might be going down. Oh, we're going to get a 20-point deduction. Oh, FFP, PSR, and all that BS. No. Ifs, buts, and maybes. If, if we sell the players that we want to sell, and with last summer as a case study, I believe we can sell those players, it'll be done. Gallagher, bye-bye. Um, Broya, bye-bye. Chalaba, bye-bye. Who else? Lukaku, bye-bye. Kepa, bye-bye. Matson. Bye bye. And he's already gone, by the way, because there will be clubs that cash in on that 35 million release clause. So he's gone. Lewis Hall, that's already done. Bye bye. There's another, I think, 30, 35 million in the bank. Just like that, you've got about 60, 70 million already stored just off Ian Matson and Lewis Hall alone. And we need to raise about 100 to 200 million. And this is also not taking into account. Shirt sponsors. We have a new shirt sponsor coming. If we can get that sorted before the 30th of June, that's more money in the bank. Bing X, the new sleeve sponsors. That's another 40 million in the bank already sorted. Then you take into account TV money from Sky, from TNT Sports. Then you take into account, um, what else? Um, winnings from progressing to the Carabao Cup final or progressing to the FA Cup semi-final or FA Cup final or winning the FA Cup. Now, I know th those are only going to be a couple of million, but they still count. Suddenly, that idea of us being in a points deduction, it doesn't really look that worrying anymore, does it? But the thing is, they don't talk to you about those sorts of situations as well. They just want whatever gets clicks, and whatever gets clicks the most is scaremongering. Scaremongering. We've seen that happen so much with Chelsea over the last season because we're in an absolute mess. So as of right now, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If we're in this problem, we will, we will find out about it in July. That's a problem for next season, not for now. Not for now. 
Um, Chalaba's not good now. He's um he's impartial team training. That's not good enough to start. So no, I'd expect Badi Ashu will st will be back into the starting lineup. Wow, we really don't do well in the first game back after the March break. Wow. I forgot about that 5-2 West Brom loss. Ah, <laughs> oh, good good times, man. Good times. That Brentford 4-1, though, not good times. Not good times. What else is everybody saying? Chelsea Source tweet on Oshiman. Chelsea Source. I don't think I've seen that page before. What is Chelsea Source saying? Oshimen remains and will remain Chelsea's number one striker target. However, some inside Chelsea are not convinced that Oshimen will want to join the summer without UCL football, which is why you have seen the names of alternatives being looked at already. I believe Chelsea will still make an offer in the summer. Hmm. I wonder what decision you could have made that, that might have been able to help us get European football a bit a bit sooner. Maybe maybe if you pulled the trigger on, on, a, on a certain somebody, you, you, you might have had a better chance. But hey, hey, what do I know? What do I know? Palmy also thinks, though, that that might be because we have to sell players first before we can do that. Because we do still have to try and level ourselves up a little bit, which is what the player sells are going to do. But if you sell those players and then you put that money towards, well, 120 million for Oshu, man, is that feasible? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not going to say definitively because I don't know the accounts like that. There might be another loophole that I don't know about, but I'm not sure whether that would work. So maybe that explains it. And also, I think Napoli would be asking for a lump sum or a lot up front. I think I read that somewhere. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. But as of right now, I think we go into the start of the window with the same energy that we had last season, which is that we need to sell first. Sell first, get ourselves in that position where we're stable financially, and then we'll buy. So. I don't know. Yeah, so, so they do want the full release clause. Okay. Okay, yeah. So that m might explain more to me why we might be looking at other options, if anything. Because you're trying to, you're trying to sell all of these players and then you need to pay $120 million in one go. And if you're going to do that, you're probably going to do that in the next year. So it's on the books for next season, not this season. So with that in mind, Oshimen isn't going to be an immediate transfer for us either. You're not going to see us go and get him first week of June. No. That will be something you see happen in July, potentially. Well, that, that's the way it, it seems to me. So, yeah. O alternatives, I understand that. I, I still kind of expect Chelsea to make an offer, but probably in later into the summer. But even then, we have to wait and see who we sell first. Um, yeah, yeah, bro, I'm with you, man. No star. Well, I don't want to see Sterling start, but I also think Chukumeka's now out of this game. You can't have Madueki and Palmer play on the right. Someone's got to play on the left, and that would have to be Mudrick. And I don't mind Mudrick playing on the left, Palmer 10, Madueki right. I don't mind that. Although I've seen Mudrick look really good in the 10 position over the last few games. I want to see him continue there. Although maybe they could interchange. Maybe they could interchange and everything. Do a little free, free roaming and all of that. That could work. You know what? That probably could work anyway. So, yeah. Mudrick, Mudrick left, Palmer 10, Madueki right. Run, run with that. Run with that. I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. Um, the Premier League has introduced a mid-season rule to prevent ball boys from giving balls directly to players. Huh? Ain't that the ain't that their whole point? Well, what's the plan then? A mid preventing ball boys from giving balls directly to players. That's their job. That's their whole job. 
That is confusing. That is confusing. So, so what is the plan then? You're going to have substitutes giving the balls to players. Are, are you going to create a wall next to the pitch so the ball just bounces off that wall and back out so they can just go and pick it up from the pitch? How does that work? How does that work? That That is very confusing. That is very confusing. So I don't know. I don't know how they plan on making that one work, but okay. Okay. Um, What else is everybody saying? What else is everybody saying? I said 80 likes. Is that all that we're on? We haven't even got to 100 yet. 89 likes. Come on, guys. Rise that up. Rise that up. Sean, if Oshiman wants to join Chelsea, I'm not asking any questions. Because after the last two seasons, if you still want to be here, Fez. Fez, you know what? You loyal. You loyal. Roll through. Give him an extra 20, 30, 40k that he's asking for on his wages just for that. Because fair play, mate. Yeah, like, if the ball boys can't give the balls to the players, like... I think to limit the quick pass from ball boys. But, but but that's their whole point, though. They're meant to give the balls to the players as quickly as possible. Like, the bigger issue with ball boys would have been them time-wasting for the home team when the home team's winning. Because then it slows down the play. If they're doing their job and they're passing it to the players quicker, like, you're doing what you're there for, innit? I don't know why they'd want to get rid of that. That's that's very confusing. It's very confusing. Ah, oh, God knows. God knows. I said they're trying to limit the unfair home advantage. Hey, how about next you stop the home fans from chanting? Well, I'll be real with Chelsea. They don't have, they don't have to do too much for that. <laughs> they don't have to do too much with us. Actually, with English fans in general. English fans that in general. They're all in the same BS. Ugh. It's all mad. It's all mad. I did see a little bit of from Pies just before I send the link out. Um, He said the Gallagher camp feel like they could end up being forced out. Well, take the hint. Take the hint, my friends. Let, let me get that bookmark up. What was it? So yeah, the Gallagher camp feel they could end up being forced out according to Pies. You could be. What what made you feel that? The fact that we've been actively trying to get rid of you for like the last year. Let me know. Let me know because you think we, we, we do want you gone. We Well, I say we. Not all of us. That there is a massive portion of the fan base who sees the entirety of Chelsea Football Club in Conor Gallagher, which again explains why we're eleventh. But yeah, if they feel like they're ending up, be they could end up being forced out. Start assessing your options. Start assessing your options, mate. The club are also targeting one hundred and fifty million plus in sales, which. I mean, you might be able to. I could say it's crazy, but like getting the money that we got for the players that we got last season was crazy enough and we did it. Just crazy enough. So we could do it again. We could do it again. Although you need to find a way to get rid of Lukaku and Kepa first. And I'm not too sure with Kepa. Just because I don't know who the hell wants him. We've been trying to get rid of that scrub for years and nobody wants him. Lukaku might get Saudi. That might be a little 40 million. Gallagher could be another 40, 45. Oh, actually, you say that. Then you've got Lewis Hall and Matson, which is already another 60. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You know, you guys just sold me already that quickly. And even then, we haven't said Broria. We haven't said Chalaba. Um, who else? 
Yeah, we haven't said them two either. Yeah, 150 million plus. We can pattern that. We can definitely pattern that real quick. I want to see another day like the 21st of June where we had six players gone, including Havertz. Man, I'm saying Sterling in the chat. Good luck. Good luck. Like, don't even get your hopes up on Sterling because he's not going. He's not going. He is comfortable in London with his family. He is on crazy wages. He ain't getting anywhere else except Saudi. He ain't going. So the sooner we all accept that, the better. Unless I hear genuine rumors about Sterling leaving, I don't even talk about that on here because he's not going. Ziyech, I swear Ziyech has a year left on his contract. I swear he's got a year left on his deal. Let me check. Um, yeah, yeah. No, no. He signed a five-year deal in 2020. So, yeah, that's going to end in 2025. All right. No, they're saying he's free. They're saying he's free. Let, let me look at this. When does his contract expire? It says 2025 here. Current contract expires in 2025. So maybe even ZH comes back, but that'll be another that'll be another one that's very difficult to get rid of. Because he he is an injury crock in himself. Ain't he got that degenerative knee issue or something? We were lucky even that Galatasaray even took him off our hands. But either way, like, I expect us to be able to get that money. I just realized it all, so it's fine. Um, ben Chilwell. Find a club that wants him and, and get rid of that scrub. That's fine. That's more than fine. No active list on managers yet. That's not fine. That's not fine. Because you, sh you should already be looking for new managers. Now, I think Felix or someone else said that we were already looking for a new manager. But no active list just yet. Wake up. Wake up. Because I don't want to see him here next season. Oh, yeah, Malang Saw. Yeah, you could get another 5, 10 million for him. Something like that. Actually, tell a lie. Who's giving him 100k a week? Who's giving Sar 100k a week? Other than us. Robert Sanchez. Ha ha. Ha ha. You know, man, I think Robert Sanchez is leaving. Robert Sanchez can't believe his luck. Sanchez cannot believe his luck. He's thinking, how the hell did I manage to make it to Chelsea? He is comfy. He is comfy. Yes, a CNAC, bro. <sighs> like, they, they should be hoping he pulls us into Europa already. So you should leave after that. But. I, I don't even want to envision him being here next season. That That's too depressing for me. That is way too depressing for me. The fact that we can willingly look at this season and the mess that it is and think, right, let's do that again. Huh? Huh? I said give Milan to Strasbourg. Bro, don't put Strasbourg through that. Them man are suffering enough. Come on, bro. We don't need to do them like that. We don't need to do them like that. Sar, I don't see going anywhere, though. Because nobody's offering him that cash. Nobody. Did we even find a club to loan him to? Did we even find a club for him, or is he still here? Is he still here? I think he is. Wait, why has my camera gone off? What the fuck? Oh, fucking piece of shit. There we go. He's still here. 
Bruv. He's just existing. And you know what? Lucky Sora. I wish I could have a life like that. 100k a week just to sit on my ass. That will be nice. That will be nice. Yeah, of course it collapsed. Of course. Imagine my shock. Of course it did. Like anybody's going to offer him those wages. I am not surprised at all about this. Not surprised at all. Joke. There's a reason Chelsea are mid-table again. Because that's a board they're useless. It's got nothing to do with the manager. He's been let down by everybody else around him. Bozo. When have we not blamed the board? When have we not blamed the board? But you want to come on here and then tell me. Well, there's no point in getting a new manager. That's not the problem at Chelsea. We're 11th in March with this idiot who said this team could win everything. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's one thing that pisses me off more than anything. There's people who act like we don't hold the board accountable. Or people who actually think this manager's just been let down by everything else around him. Like, what in the copium? What in the absolute copium? We know the boards are culpable. A big reason why they are culpable is because this guy is in charge. And this guy is still in charge. But hey, no, it's everybody else's fault. It's everybody else's fault. Absolute waffle. Because I don't sit on here on a match, a football match preview and talk about the backroom staff for two hours like certain mineral munchers. Wait, we don't hold the board accountable, dickheads. Absolute dickheads. I I I'm sorry that my football previews are not centered on the board. I'm sorry. Next time, ha have Win Stanley and Stewart play as the midfield pivot. Then maybe we'll talk about them a bit more. How about Clear Lake playing a back five? And we'll talk about them a bit more. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The same board will hire another useless manager. Cool. Then we're going to be on them even more until then. I want this guy gone. They'll hire another useless manager. So let's keep the useless manager that we have here. Your logic. Your logic. They'll just get in another one. So let's keep the idiot that we have now. Who's driving our players into the mud. And numerous injuries. Like what? I I'm not going to break up with this woman that cheated on me. Because I'm just going to get another woman that cheats on me again. What? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Cenac, yo, I am trying. I am trying so hard. I I've said so many times I am not engaging with these people anymore. And then I end up going right back into it. And I can't. I can't. I just can't. Please, please. There was injury problems with Poch and his players at Tottenham, at PSG, and now at here. Miss me with that. Just because like, I hear it in terms of Lavia because Lavia was doing rehab and he re-injured himself through that. But if you're not going to say that these patterns of injuries at Chelsea has got nothing to do with a manager who's well known for driving his players into the ground in training, then you can sit there with your head in the sand. Because I'm not. I'm not. Um, Your thoughts. Pochettino on Vincent Company. He's doing well. He's doing fantastic. How we measure the job is not only about results, but the process and the team's potential. Ugh. Ugh. I don't really have too much to say about that. Like, do I think companies doing fantastic? No, they're 19th. But they'll probably go down to the championship, get stronger, and come back up. So, yeah, fairs. It's last year's injury problems because of Potter as well. Am I talking about last season or am I talking about this season? Because we've got a completely different squad, by the way. Minus about 9, 10 players. We got rid of 15 and brought in another 15. So, what are we talking about?
It's more deflection, more deflection, more deflection, more deflection. Big up to Saeed, man. Big up my guy for the raid. Appreciate you, brother. Bless up every single time, bro. Big up. To the 0.1% of you that aren't sub to Saeed TV, everybody head over and sub to Saeed TV. But I know the majority of you are, so won't insult your intelligence too much. But if you aren't subbed, what are you doing? What are you doing? Brilliant content on a daily basis over there. Everybody head over there and sub ASAP. ASAP. Big up, bro. Big up, man. Appreciate the donation to everybody. Well, appreciate the redirect to everybody in here. Hit that like button. You're moving like Chelsea in the League Cup final with that. It's insane. Shit, exactly. It's, I don't even, it's not even worth bringing it up. We, we talk about one season where we play about four competitions to so another one where we play three. We have one game a week and, and the same amount of injuries. I saw people try and compare our injury record now to when we had 96 injuries under Tuchel in 21-22. Like, newsflash bozos, when we, when we had that season under Tuchel, we were in seven, seven different competitions. And we made it into the finals of both domestic cups. Our team was stretched. And you want to compare that to now where we play one game a week. And act like it's the same and it's normal. The copium in this fan base, bruv. The copium in this fan base is insane. And you know what it is? So many people drank the Kool-Aid with Pochettino, myself included. But people don't want to admit that they were wrong. I admitted I was wrong. Time ago. I drank the Kool-Aid during pre-season. I thought, yes, this is a new Chelsea. And all of that. And then, bruv. Then we drop. Then the start of the season happens. I can admit I was wrong. But there's a certain section of the fan base that can't. That's why they deflect everything else. Oh, it's the injuries. Oh, we had these injuries last season. Oh, these players are inexperienced and all of this BS. Not listening. Not listening. Hey, hey, Gav, I'm not saying it's all of you. I'm not saying it's all of you. Like, the, in simple terms, if you think a line's about you, it's about you. If you don't think it's about you and you don't think it's directed at you, it's not. In terms of a lot of Chelsea fans, they, they drank the Kool-Aid. And they're still drinking it. They're still drinking it. So, yeah, that's insane. Uh, uh, what else? On? Javi Simmons on the scouting list. I, I haven't seen enough of Javi Simmons to really say too much. But I'll keep a lookout if that becomes serious. Right now, I think that's another monitoring thing. And that's fine. Whatever. Oh, right. Poch quotes. Uh, he said, I, on the Lavia injury, he said, I don't know. You show me some of the methods of Pochettino. They are so hard. No. I say, what? I say, what? If he didn't train with me, yeah, but it's the people who need to talk. That is an awful quote. I'm guessing he's saying Lavia didn't train with him. So you can't really say it's on him, which is fair enough. But again, if you want to act like his methods don't play a part in our massive injury issues this season, then that's just a lack of accountability. But if you want to just isolate the Lavia situation because you can push yourself away from that situation, then go for it. Then go for it. You do that. But like your lack of accountability is still there for everybody to see. Um... We already spoke about Chilwell still having a knock. He said a few players as well need to be assessed, which isn't great. Shiv, that's also a very good point. If he had injury problems, why did we rush him back? Why did we rush him back? But hey. Hey. Um, still need to assess a few players like Chilwell. We'll need to keep a lookout for that. Enzo still hasn't arrived from yesterday. Okay, you know what? Enzo might not play. Enzo might not play. We might have to have Gallagher and Caicedo in the pivot again. Which isn't ideal again, but it should be enough to win. It should be enough to win. 
on Sterling, he said he's an experienced player. Now we need to move on. We need to make the effort to convince the fans that we are in a very good way. Cool. You know what? We'll do that. A run of victories. A big run of victories. I've already said in terms of my, my stance on Pochettino, the only way that I change my mind on Poch involves him being here next season. In terms of this season, he could genuinely, I don't think he could do anything to change my mind. I don't think he could do anything. Because I'm always going to think we could have done more if you weren't such an idiot for about six months of the season. But if he was to be here next season, we, we would have to just assess how he starts the season. I'd say to a point, new slate. To a point. Only because that slate can be cleaned if you hit the ground running. If you don't hit the ground running, I'm going to remember last season. I'm going to remember everything. You have to start next season on a brazy run of victories. Or we have to be playing such a different level of football in terms of the way we control the game, in terms of improvements with individuals, in terms of game management. I'd have to see a mentality do a complete 180. And if that was the case, maybe then we could have the conversation. In terms of this season, it's done. It's done. I want him gone regardless. He could win every game from now till the end of the season, including the cup final. I'd still want him gone. I'd still want him gone. The only thing I would say, though, is if we won every game from now to the end of the season, I wouldn't think you're a complete idiot for trying to explain keeping him for another season. I just wouldn't be with it. I just wouldn't be with it at all. I'd be like, nah, I've seen enough. I'm good. I don't need that. I don't need that. But yeah, let me send the link out quickly. Oh, for fuck's sakes. As soon as I move my laptop, it's on this bullshit. One sec. You too. Fuck off. Right, link's going out. We'll see what everybody's saying. Don't know how long we're going to be live for, but we will see. And yeah. Big up everybody, like, subscribe, up the chels, and all of that crap. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's my tags. That's my fucking tags. What am I doing? This is a mess, one sec. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I broke my own rule. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Nearly done. Nearly done. Cool. Yo, my guys, what are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? Yes, you got loose. What you saying? Oh, with that. Wait. What are we saying, people? Uh, Give me another uh, winner. I mean, I'd hope so. If we don't win, in, if we don't get a convincing victory in this game, we are finished. Forget Europe. Oh, no, mate. This game, this 
Burnley could be the start of something special, mate. Mm. We should already be fun. starting that, to be honest. I, do, do, I, yeah. did try, and this is what I don't mind. This is a possibility. I've been saying this to this Arsenal fan, yeah. I was like, if they beat City and then Chelsea come over and ruin their party, mate, and come up and fucking get a win at their ground, and then then they don't win the league because of them three points, mate. Oh, mate. That wait, wait, so good. if City beat Arsenal and then we beat them? No, 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 no. So if just say Arsenal managed to, God forbid, managed to beat City um, at oh. the Etihad, and then we, then when we play them, um, they get turned mm. over by us. And then, and then City... I mean, we've done it in the yeah. past. We've ruined people's yeah, chances. I mean, like, uh... How much would you ask for, ask for us to ruin Arsenal's party? Oh. And then just say we get to the FA Cup final. Mate, this season would be... Would yeah, I'd take that. And we're asking for a lot. Just beat Man City, beat Man United twice, and beat Arsenal. It is a lot. Uh, yeah, I uh, know, man. It's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, even beating Man United is a struggle for us, let alone the other two clubs. Mm. Well, now maybe we catch some luck. Coventry City in the final. I, I, I want to pretend they could get a result in that game. Even though they're not. But if that was to happen, I mean, it's a good ending to the season. I still want Poch out, but it will be a good ending to the season. I'm, I'm not seeing none of that, though. <laughs> I'm you might be Man uh... United, just because I expect it. Or I'm demanding it. City? I'm not sure. No, see, we're not sure. demanding it, but mate, if we get to that final, mate, we're beating, we're fucking beating Man United, we're beating Coventry, mate. There's no ifs, no buts, no fucking maybes. We want to get to Wembley, we want to win the fucking trophy, we want to get Big the up, badge Alex. in, we want to get the badge in, get the bags in, and get the slags in. <laughs> <laughs> that is bars, bro. But, uh, I. With our, with our, actually, no, I don't even want to talk about our Wembley record. I don't want to talk about our mm. Wembley record. If we lose, if we, God forbid, lost to Coventry in the final, don't even bother going back to Wembley again. Don't even yeah, bother. Literally. <laughs> literally. It'll, be, it'll be a worse run than in 1967 when we lost every single year at Villa Park. Like well, was 95. that where the finals were based? No, no. So, yeah, so we, we used to play, it used to be at Old Trafford. Or used to be at Villa Park back in back in the sixties and the seventies and shit. Is where you lost hell. every single year for the three years in a row at Villa Park with, with Tommy Dockey. Until until we fucked it and then we got to the final and we lost to Tottenham in sixty seven. Yeah, sixty seven. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where, where like, the rivalry started. Rivalry, yeah, that's where a big part of the rivalry mm. started from '67 when we lost, and they and they knocked us down. They demoted us in the um, eight got years relegated. Ago. Yeah. Well, they relegated us then too. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, oh, it could even been in the. Um, I don't think no, we were good in the '60s. We were good in the '70s. It could even been in the late '70s um, where Tottenham relegated us. Damn. Oh, God forbid yeah. that ever happens again. Yeesh. Yeah, mate, savage. But you know what? We weren't alive then, and even like, our parents yeah. were just born then. Do you know what I mean? If like little babies. I hear that. I was saying, I was saying this to my mates earlier, saying, "Thank God, my childhood, we were on top. We were the mm. bullies. Because yeah, if no, no, this no. was our childhood now, we'd be victims. We'd be yeah, victims no. in school, bro." Mate, my my, my the one of the reason why I hate Arsenal so much. My uh, my childhood at like the primary school was just getting haunted by Thierry Henry. We got haunted mm. by that fucker, man. He haunted us Same. every single yeah. time. One one, and that cunt would fucking score without a foul every time. Ah, I got lucky go then. <laughs> yeah, mate. As soon as I got into football, it was when we were on top. No, I still remember when Wayne Bridge scored, mate. I was watching at home in the living room. I was running around, taking me top off, going crazy, mate, when Wayne Bridge scored, mate. It was the first time I see us beat Arsenal ever in my life. Yeah, their record against us Returns. before that was ridiculous. Yeah, I yeah, think they we were unbeaten in like 25 games against Chelsea or and, something like and, that. And as well, we have to remember as well, um, it was an Arsenal manager. It was an Arsenal legend player that won Chelsea the Cup in 95. Ted Drake is an Arsenal legend as a player. 
and then came to Chelsea as a manager and won the league with us. Why, in the 50s? In the 55, yeah. He was an Arsenal legend that won the league with us. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Yeah, Ted Drake, his name was. And then after him, it was that's when Dave, um, that's when Tommy Dockett would take over. And then it was um, Dave Sexton, and that's who he won the FA Cup with, Dave Sexton. Wait, so Alex is saying, I genuinely think we're going to get relegated or worse due to the ban or something. Bro, what, make, what Bro, makes you think yeah, that's even going to happen, though? Yeah, because I don't see that. I don't Neither think do we're going to get a ban either. I reckon we might get a little point deduction if we say like four points if we're a bit over the late schedule and if it's only by about 20, 30 mil, mate. Like, not the Forest are doing all that as well. Like, like, mate, we're blessed, mm. mate. I don't listen to all that propaganda. They've got nothing to say. Like, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And that's what they should be doing about our club, mate. No, because they've got nothing nice to say. Then they get no clicks and no viewers from talk sport and all that, so yeah, no stop this now. No, it's just no, simple. No, Look no, at no, that no. in ju in July after we've got our player after we've seen how many players we've sold because Matson and Hall are already gone. That's sixty yep. to seventy done. We're trying to get rid of Gallagher, that'll be another forty fifty. Broya, another twenty Gallagher thirty. Chalaba Gallagher's leaving, bro. Gallagher's and then we had that new, <laughs> that new things, that new sleeve, that, that new sponsor. Yep, the that's sleeve. 40 million. Hmm. Like, We've got a new shirt of Lewis coming. League Cup, League Cup. Five. Come on, that's like four mil. The League Cup, not loads, but we've been... Yeah, yeah that, that's four million, but it adds up with everything else. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, if we yeah, get to yeah. another final as well, like, it's still revenue the club's still getting. Like, even if no, they but... lose half to the stadium or what, whatever, Wembley, there's still profit, there's still money coming in somewhere. No, but, Lewis, you know, the issue is apparently it's not that we're not, we're not going to get and done well, for PSR. By the end of the season, I would have bought six Chelsea shirts from the club shirt, mate, with and without sponsor, mate. That's fucking, <laughs> like, six bill right there, mate. Chuck that towards <laughs> FFP, mate. That's a lot right there. No, but I don't think we're going to fail FFP. Me, I think we're just going to get done for what, uh, what's his name, Marina and Roman did in the past. That's why I think they we're going to get done They for. can't punish us over what the old regime did. That would be bullshit. Okay, uh, what what did they yeah, do? They uh, uh, just so we can uh, get no, if you um, mate, we dubbed up, mate. That's not even that bad. What, what, what paying has a day nah, a bit extra you know like, I mean, to make sure he came to the club. Yeah, who gives a it's, fuck? It's mate. not even that. They, it's just the rumors are that apparently, oh, there were dodgy dealings and like apparently it's something to do with Samuel Eto'o, but we William, need to specify Hazard what they were. Agent, all that BS. Mm. But what know, was I, it? I, I just think it's fear mongering, but uh, plus, so, I, so then, I, I so don't actually know it enough. Basically, yeah. So Chelsea face penalties, including a point deduction or expulsion, if they are found guilty of breaching spending rules under the Abramovich ownership. Mm -hmm. If they're found guilty. So again, it's a, it's a think piece. So what is it? Alex is it saying was, uh, we admit it, City is, ex is accused. One of the two clubs will get book throwing at it. And it's not FFP now, it's old stuff and you can get punished for old stuff. Now I hear it. Yep. Mm. Until we know what it is, we can't worry about it because what's the point of being scared about something you know nothing about? No, like yeah, one of them was uh, apparently that basically Marina had gotten money from a uh, Roman for like a new house, and I was like, "How's this relevant?" But she got payments for a new house for like a loan of like one point six mil because they meant to account for the club spending. That's why yeah. offshore third party payment. Well, we are we are guilty because we've admitted it. So this is about the the self reporting that we made a year ago. Then, mm -hmm. I think some okay. Of it so is. if we all, all I'm going to say is I feel like if it was self reported, we'd be aware of what the consequences would be. Otherwise, we wouldn't have self reported it. But I'm going to keep looking at this because I want to find out more before I really think anything of it. So the Times said. Former Chelsea director Granoff Sky was sent information about secret payments to offshore entities related to the signings of several players during the Roman Abramovich era, according to leaked documents. Um, let me see if I can get a bit more depth on that. Mm. Maybe that's part of what they're talking about. 
Yeah, yeah, Fra Fraser, like, City stuff is a lot deeper, and I don't know enough about it to even talk about your charges, so I don't, I don't really try and um, discuss that. So, Granovska has sent information about secret payments. According to documents. Um, again, a bit baseless, but like, I need to see a bit more on that. No, so Gra Granovska is facing questions about what she knows, so... It's kind of dependent on the results of that. She said no comment. Because mm, she's not legally bound to say anything. Yep. <laughs> well, it just feels like we don't know. A lot of unknown exactly. details. But it's an independent board that decides the punishment, not the Premier League. Yeah, exactly. the self -reporting the to more yeah, so we could appeal whatever the initial decision yeah, is. Yeah. The self-reporting has led to more stuff being uncovered, so the punishment can be harsher, but it can also be appealed. Hmm. So Depends on what more comes out, though. Because right now, it's just questions being asked, but like we don't know facts. We don't know anything really concrete, except I'm guessing Marina's under some questioning. That's no, but it. Like, some, people, some people are getting confused, saying that, oh, why are we getting punished for like some of the stuff that happened in the room? Will we if anything gets found out or whatever, we will get punished either way. That's bound to happen, though, but I feel like, well, I don't know for sure, but I would feel like we would get less harsher punishments due to the yeah, fact yeah. that that owner isn't here anymore. No, I That's what I was just... thinking, but they could just make an example out of us, possibly. Mm -hmm. And also, we self-reported like it, too. Fuck's sake. Yeah, the self-reporting, I'll be honest, I'd rather we self-reported than kept it hidden, because if we of kept course. it hidden, they found us out, damn. Like, like City. Exactly, and if they build a case or anything, I guess our defense will be like, "Oh, we tried self-reporting, and you got to give us credit for this, and different ownership, and they were forced to sell all of this." So it's into context, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, it's Trying difficult a little bit to more comment on. This, but... Yeah, we don't have the full full facts, but I don't think they'll want to relegate us, though. Do you think? Because, like, think of it. No, yeah. Too much They're money. Lose so much, exactly. Yeah. A club, man. So many people around a the world. Set amount of points deduction, I can imagine. Yeah. Maybe a transfer ban. Uh, what did I think, I think probably a points deduction, unless we've done something really crazy, and I don't think we have. Yeah. I mean, Leicester just. Oh, got why is this fucking ban. camera falling apart, bro? Fuck's sake. Oh, well, again, demonetized, whatever. It's typical. Whatever. Um, what was it? Yeah, it's like what was self-reporting in financials was not accurate. So in investigating their finding stuff, I yeah, that 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 does make a bit more sense. Yeah, I think if we're self-reporting and we're not being accurate in what we're self-reporting, that's an L from the owners. Mm. But still, pretty much up in the air. That's why. To a point, I'm still not worried about it. It's just I kind of understand the situation a little bit more. Before, I didn't have a clue what was going on. Yeah, But I understand it a bit more. I'm, I'm still not that worried just because I don't think you self-report unless you're aware of what the consequence would, would be. That's like why we had that conversation about how we're going to accept um, a one-year transfer ban or something or pull out of the Conference League if we end I'll up getting into that ban. competition. I'll yeah, European ban. ban. I, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. To be honest, Lewis, don't you think that's why the owners were spending so much so quickly preparing for something like a transfer ban in the future? No, no. I think, uh, well, maybe, but I've also maybe. thought we were overdue a clear out for so many years. They just accelerated yeah. it. It could be yeah. a bit of both. Yeah, a bit of both. So, like, I, I don't know. It, it's, it does still still feel a little bit vague. JC says, I'm wondering if anyone would have found anything if we didn't report, self-report of some 12-year-old communication. <laughs> Maybe. I was going to say things always come out in, in the end, but like, what you don't know didn't come out. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. May that, that's, that's one way of looking at it. It might be. Yeah, but Sorry, there was a massive leak, weren't there, as well, like a few years back that obviously detailed all the legal, allegedly illegal dealings of certain clubs for transfers. It was something called the something accords or reports. 
it was like a Dutch company, like hackers leaked all this information out. That's how I they kind of got onto us. About. Yeah. I forgot the name of the whole report, what it was called. But yeah, it's about some hackers that obviously obtained all this information about how clubs were buying players and whatnot. And I think that the kind Spindle. of tipped them off. That was... That's the one. I think that's the website, the Spiegel. That is Der Spiegel, yeah. I was trying, trying to have a look at this. Sorry, what, what the actual accusations for us is to do with three players that we know of right now, right? It's Christensen, uh, the payments we made to his father to get Christensen, Samuel, Etta, uh, and then William. What about how's yeah, his agent? Yeah, with his agent. Those are the three, right? With City, also they've been charged for a longer period of time from 2011 till 2019. But from mm. what reports are telling us, it's only based on those three transfers for us for now. Right? Yeah. And their their thing is major fraud in terms of them lying about how much revenue they're getting, right? In terms of yep. you know, their sponsorship. They've got so much on that. Right. Like I get them getting the sponsors now, especially with winning the treble, winning six or like five out of six Premier Leagues. But in twenty eleven, that's when they first won their first one, right? And they had less yep. than us. So when they were making way more revenue than even Real Madrid at those times, that's impossible for them. Yeah. Right. And I think also we self-reported and I think um, it was Nottingham Forest also self-reported. So that's why the Premier League didn't give them the 10 point deduction that Everton initially got. And that's when they're only deducted four points. Right. And since we self-reported, I I don't think we're going to be relegated. I don't think City is going to be relegated. There's too much money. We're the big six. We bring internationally the most amount of fans. Right? So, I mean, if you're going to relegate point. someone, it would be City for what they've allegedly done if they were guilty on all those charges. Yeah, and I don't, but... think, I, don't, I don't think they're going to be relegated either. So I think they're, they're not. They're not. I'm saying so if you wanted to throw the book at not... someone, you'd throw it at City. Yeah, but I think we might get a transfer ban or something for a year or something at, at most, but I don't think it's more than that. Um, I also one heard... thing, Conte's lawsuit too. Oh my days! Italian prick. I also think. Yes, uh, actually, the... I remember that coming out as yeah. well. The yeah. hazard stuff. Yeah. Also, the agent of Rudiger as well. Isn't he currently suing Marina Granovska? Yep. saying she has to she has to disclose information. Yeah, the well. Emirati guy. Yeah. So there, yeah. Oh, bruv. <laughs> this is actually not looking. Either way. One of us will get made an example. That's what I'm scared of. It's not even like yeah. what we've done. They're going to make an example of someone. Oh, and they're already trying to make an example out of Everton. Yeah, somewhat. I mean, it was, yeah, they definitely made an example of Everton for sure. Unlike Man City, we have new ownership. Man City still has their same ownership. So I think they're more likely to be punished because they're actually being charged by the Premier League. We have but as Alex said, they'll no still charges. make us pay for the sins of our previous ownership as well. I agree, but I don't think it's going to be as bad, right? Because also, during this period, didn't we get sold through the UK government when they were supposed to have checks and balances and everything like that? Hmm. Right? It was it was yeah. a combination of the Premier League and the UK government finding who the potential buyers could be and if they're safe enough to buy and checking our previous books. CPB is right, but the only difference is, like some those clubs are probably less brazen with what they did, whereas other clubs are a bit more shameless with their spending and their illegal dealings and all that. Like, didn't City just announce like record revenue as well in the midst of these one hundred and fifteen charges as well? Like not too long ago. Mm -hmm. During the I think they've been recording um, profits for the last couple of years. I think. But like they were saying, it was more than Real Madrid and. Everyone knows Real Madrid's yeah, fan base is way bigger man. than City's. So that's just not right. Yeah, I don't care how many trophies they've been winning, City. You can't mm -hmm. claim your fan base is generating that much money for you, as well as Especially other. During the pandemic, it was during the pandemic that they made more money than Real Madrid. That happened. exactly. Yeah, that's insane. And they had come from a three P. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit wild. That's a little bit wild. Right, and during that's... this period. Because the pandemic they didn't even reach the final, they reached the final with us. So the most it reached was a quarterfinal or a semifinal when they were losing to mm. Leon <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Right. No, so, so you got like, charges like everywhere, even to do like their academy. 
Because yeah, isn't it that company called Fordstum, which is based in the UK? That's what uh, Abramovich owned. That's kind of how he s used the money to go through there. So, like Chelsea Football Club itself is somewhat protected from most of that dealings Abramovich did. Yes, Alex, bro. Hope you're all good. Alex, be good. yeah, I'm fine. I think it was the plan of coming, but uh, I don't know. can you hear me? Yeah, we uh, can hear you, bro. Yeah. We can hear you. It's static. Okay. Um, so I'm not saying what I'm saying is like true. What I'm saying is like I'm pretty worried actually about the situation. The reason why I'm worried about the situa situation is because we self-reported. So we technically, even though supposed to be a in sentence, one thing for sure, we admitted we did something wrong. With City, they didn't. They fighting. So no matter how it is, so if it's offshore accounts, you cannot prove it. It depends on how much. If you cannot prove it, you can. Doesn't matter what it is. City overturned the uh, Premier League rules before. So for example, City is much is many of things that they did. They still did not admit no guilt. It's up to the person that actually accused them of something to prove that way. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? That way, uh, uh, guilty. It's not to the person to uh, to uh, the defendant. That's number one. And it's I'm not a lawyer. I'm just speaking what I think. Number two, Chelsea already admitted. That's the biggest problem that Chelsea has. Not saying that whatever it is. First of all, they could admit something that happened recently, but that because they admitted something, they open the books and let the big investigation into it. Nobody. All of a stuff, all all of a sudden, the stuff start coming up. In the recent times, I'm not saying 100 percent uh, uh, sure, but I know for a fact, and you can call me ITK, but I know Conte when he was the reason why he uh, Chelsea uh, used the lawsuit against Chelsea. And by the way, he won. Mm -hmm. One of the payments that Chelsea are supposed to be doing to Conte was the second party payments, because Chelsea did not want to pay him directly just like city did to that uh, italian manager that mancini. they accused of mancini exactly same thing chelsea did chelsea not only did that to uh, to uh, what's his name um to conte they also did it to a bunch of players families bunch of players uh, themselves even when conte was saying like look we can pay you uh, more don't pay taxes in English in England. Remember that conversation? Yeah. We can pay you for the remember that? He's yeah. the one said no, let me pay the full thing. Chelsea admitted it's the reason why I think more stuff coming up coming out. Because they invited it. Kishan is crying over um, in the chat earlier. I saw her saying like look, Premier League is gonna look stupid when they gonna like they won't when you buy a club you are supposed to disclose the thing in Premier League didn't find. Something like that. No, Kishan, this is not what, how it works. Premier League was approval of the person that buys it. That's what they did investigation. They didn't do investigation on, on the club. They did investigation of the people wrong. that buy in it. Yeah. Because they want to know that this person is not somebody like Hamza saying he's from brazil and has a uh, loan uh, money from somebody to buy a club and they got they the to... rules and everything exactly and they like, wanted to know yeah. that the persons that buys it actually yeah. has money they did not look what chelsea did that's not how it works they looked at accounts of the people that buy in a club that's it that's what premier league did so the reason i'm worrying about that it could be from the book it's going to be a little bit of foil hat and pause it for a second from this point what i'm saying it's complete foil hat agenda that i think i have in my head that possibly could be done so my thing is todd bowley and football pitch owners got in the same problem that roman abramovich and football pitch owners did todd bowley thinks that you remember what happened to Rangers? Yes. They went the, all the way down to League 2, I think. Yes. They're back in the League 1. Right? Yeah. yeah. 
though I wonder if if somehow this is spoil head, don't be like tell me the aliens are here, this is the theory is. This is yeah. my thing. I think I won't be surprised if Todd Bowley admit uh, will introduce something to the club. The club goes to the some kind of thing that they will accept uh like a like administration thing or two two leagues down just to obtain all the hundred percent of everything because at that point i think that pitch owners are not going to be as valuable and he can overtake everything including the batch hmm. so oh, you think it's a case of like trying to drive chelsea down to build it back up again exactly to own the whole thing because for some reason i think that's because if you think about it that the, the and i remember i told you a long time ago i will be surprised if in five to ten years i'll find out that Adebola was the one that brought uh chelsea to the to the uh, sanctions that baller group brought chelsea to sanctions for uh, for roman abramovich to uh, force to sell it I wouldn't be surprised because Roman Abramovich, one of the last people as oligarchs, got sanctioned. He wasn't the first. He was one of the last. And it was the last one from the United States. And don't tell me that billionaires from the United States don't have a pool in the U.S. political things. Oh, of course. I think this is my foil head thing. It's my foil head thing. Allow it. This is what I just think. But Fair enough. look, if 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 all this shit is happening and we're still gonna relegate it, it's not like I'm gonna stop watching shows. Still gonna think oh, that no. everything wrong. I still I still think if I was if I was Roman, I would do the same shit. I'm the person that will say bend the rules, buy the rules, break the rules, don't get cut. And I'm glad he did it because everybody's doing it. I don't care if Everton's doing it, everybody's doing it. I we won it all anyway. I'm never gonna regret exactly never. Yeah. So all right guys, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be in listeners, but don't kill me in the chat because I can see the chat. It's my foil head thing. I've been exposed to too many travel I'm the last on time, so I'll see you guys later. No worries, bro. Good to see you again. Take care. JC, big up, man. Big up on the show, JC. Big up, big up. Uh, JC also says when a big takeover is done, new owners hire outside auditors to do due diligence. It's possible the auditors didn't like a few things, and the owners had to report that. Maybe, like I, I, I don't think it will get to a point where we have to, where we end up going down to another division. But hmm. I do you think now it might be a little bit deeper than we were given credit for? But we have to see. We have to see. Yeah. Still, another case was that I don't want to be too speculative and say. Oh, we're finished. We're screwed. Everything's over. It's not that. Yeah, it's not give in that. to all but... the fear mongering and all that. Yeah, I get you. Mean. I, I don't want. Part. Yeah, I don't want to give into it. But I am listening to this. Something. Yeah, yeah. So it's Observing not just it, a yeah, BS sure. story that's being made out of nowhere. There is a little bit of fire attached to this smoke. Where yeah. it ends up in is still very speculative. Still very speculative. But we need to see what other situations are still around because. There could be more that comes out into the surface over the next few months. God knows. God knows where this is going to take us. I would hope that because it's a self-report that it would be... Whatever charges we may get is minor. Hmm. But... Like, we still don't really know too much about what's there except Conte, Christensen, Hazard. I think there's one more. There's also the stuff that JC was saying earlier that... Some of the payments, if they were going to Roman, that might not involve the club. Or if they were mm. from Roman, that might be on his books and not the clubs. Yeah. There's, a, there's, a lot on, there's a lot below the service. And there's a lot below the service. I'm not to... too sure. But Maldini, trust me, like, do not do not do a transfer ban on a, in a summer where there's no, um, no European competition, no World Cup, nothing. That is long. Like we we will just this will turn into a gaming channel during the summer so fast, so fast. <laughs> but Daniel, my guy, big up everybody. Like Maldini's already done. I want W Daniels in the chat. Big up my guy. Big up everybody who just got a membership. Big up my guy for handing out five free memberships. Big up my bro. Big up. 
Um, yeah, yeah. Too much. Oh, the only thing is though, it's like there's it's a three week break, and then they go straight back into preseason. But then it's like, what what do you talk about for preseason, other than you're just previewing and reviewing friendly matches that don't really mean a thing. You'll be here for the watch-alongs, but that's about it. Obviously, I'll take a transfer ban over being relegated or something, but let's just hope it doesn't get to that. But also, Lewis, yeah. I think this is going to go on for a while because the Marina charges are a court case, and she's not in the country, yeah. and she doesn't have to be helpful to anyone. She can drag mm. this shit out forever. That's where the Marina, time to be proper Chels. Right, like Marina <laughs> drag Marina's this in the country. She's best her. You know, she's loyal to Roman. Why does she have to help the UK government or anyone for more evidence or more papers on us? She doesn't. It, she, she doesn't. Drag this out. The governments are the ones that ruin both of their empire. If exactly. Anything. Mm. So why does she need to help? She's going to drag this out as much as she can. Of course. She has the money. She's going to get backing from Roman legal fees wise, if anything. And she's loaded anyways from the payout when she left the club. So, like, she doesn't need to help them at all. So, I don't think this is going to happen this year, at the very least. I think it's going to be end of next yeah. year, maybe. Like, end of next, next year. Okay, so like we've got another year season. of all of this. Yeah, yeah. At the oh, yeah, the Maldini, I want streaming. I went on that bag just then. I just moved to Chelsea Fan TV during the last transfer ban. So, I was just vibing. Ugh. But, yeah, you know, we're probably going to wrap it up here. It weren't going to be a long stream in general. But big up to everybody that's locked in. We will be back tomorrow for the watch along. So keep a lookout for that. Um, just before we wrap up, I'm going to see where we're going to redirect quickly. Who's live that we like? Who's live that we like? I'm going to have a look and just who, whoever's got the least viewers, I'm going to go redirect um, to. Sarcasm City Flawless is going to start something in a few minutes, apparently. A couple minutes. Um, yeah, Manchester United. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's meant to be live now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, we'll redirect over there. We'll redirect over there. Where is Flawless? What the hell is this stream? What the hell? Am I... What is wrong with YouTube? It's got I oh, know, but it still should show me the scheduled ones. Yeah, that's true. I, I see it. I'm YouTube moving murder. There it is. It was all it was all the way at the end. Can't be bothered. Right. Yeah, we're heading over there. I know everyone's saying raid rants and everything, but like Rance and Lee are gonna have at least one K in there. I'd rather I'd rather bust flawless a little bit, but they know what it is. They know what it is. But big up to everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. Head over to Flawless. Um, tell them we'll see you next week. And yeah, up the chill, spot shout, all of that. Big oh, up. Chill. Big up.